Hey everyone, Tim O'Donnell here. We're in beautiful Kailua Kona, and we're about five days out from the Ironman World Championships. When it comes to my competitors, um, it's a great field. This is probably the toughest field I've seen. I mean, obviously the bar gets raised every year. I'm always excited to race the guys that are the best or, you know, have been the best. And, you know, that, of course, comes with Patrick, uh, Sebi, Jan Frodeno. Uh, it's always an honor to race against those guys because I know I'm going to test myself and get the best out of myself when you're racing them. Uh, it's always cool to have uh, Allie Brownlee here, too. Uh, you know, a gold medalist, uh, stepping up to the old iron, iron distance and uh, seeing what everybody has. It's going to be hitting mile 10 and not going into a dark patch. Um, I really feel like the one thing I haven't done well here is, is run. I don't think I've had my best run here. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to to try to change that this year, and that means it's not falling apart at mile 10. <music> 2019 really was a continuation of 18 for me. This is my second season with uh, Coach Julie Dibbins, and we're really building off of what we started to do last year. And I, you know, I think when you switch coaches, it, it does take some time to really get into the routine with them and, and their program. So I definitely, feel like 19 you know was at least planning to be to be a better year than 18 unfortunately this year has had a lot of speed bumps I had one speed bump early last year uh, when I broke my foot in January but uh, that was a long time before Kona and this year has been it's been tough you know I, I had a bike crash in March and broke some ribs and then I re-injured my foot a couple weeks ago so I've had a lot of races I wasn't able to, <laughs> to actually do a lot of canceled flights but uh, in the end, uh, training has actually gone pretty well, and I'm definitely not over raced this year, so I'm hoping that freshness will keep me hungry and ready to go when the gun goes off on Saturday. Last year, I had a great race, ended up fourth place, and my fastest time ever. Uh, it was definitely a fast day, and I felt like I just, I had a, a day that I executed very well. I didn't run quite as well as I'd hoped to at the end, but I was just in the right place on the swim and the bike and on the run and um, you know, just had a kind of a dark spot. Uh, my coach Shirley Divins jokes that I only had one dark, dark spot in the entire race and just happened to be 13 miles of the run. But uh, I found myself running head to head with Braden Curry for most of the marathon. Uh, we were battling, uh, at the end we were battling for that fourth place and uh, around mile 24, going up that last hill, Mark and Dave Hill was able to make a move and get, get away and um, take home fourth. When it comes to a song that might epitomize uh, my pre-race playlist, it's a song by Dave Matthews and it's called You Might Die Trying. To change the world, starting with one step. 